Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in the previous session we have seen the introduction to graphs and also we have seen the graph terminology and also we have seen different kinds of graphs available in data structure. Now in this session we will go with the one more concept that is how to represent a graph. So representation of graphs. So a graph can be represented in two ways. So first one is using multidimensional array another one using list concept. Using list, link list. So we will see how a graph can be represented by using multidimensional array and how a graph can be represented by using the list. First, we will go with the multidimensional array. So let us take an example for this graph and then we will apply the representation. We will see the representation. So we will take the similar example which we have considered in the previous session. So this is a graph. Let us take this as a graph and we have to represent this in a multidimensional layer. So here we have to represent in two dimensional. So these are the nodes and these are the nodes again. So rows and columns represent the nodes and now we have to fill this multidimensional array with zeros and ones. So if an edge between the two vertices is available then that be, that will be filled with one otherwise it will be filled with zero now a and a so a and a there is no edge so there is a possibility to have an edge between a and a right there is a self loop self loop is also available in a graph right so a can have a self loop so in this example we doesn't have any self self loop so a doesn't have a node from A to A, so filled with 0. A to B, yes, it is having an edge, so 1. A to C, there is no edge, 0. A to D, yes, 1. Similarly, B to A, yes, so this is not, this is a undirected graph, so there is, it's a bidirectional, so A and B is equal to B and A, right? So similarly, B can also have an edge from B to A. So B to A, 1. So B to B, there is no self loop. B to C, there is an edge. B to D, there is no edge. Similarly, C to A, no edge. C to B, there is a 1 edge. C to D, so C to C, no loop. C to D, 1 edge. D to A, 1 edge. D to B, 0 d to c 1h and d to d there is no self right so this is how we can represent a graph in adjacent c matrix that means a multi dimensional array by using the multi dimensional array we can represent any graph here so if the same example See, if it is having if it is having a directed graph, directed graph, so this is a unidirectional. So let us see the matrix. See, A to A, no. A to B, there is one edge. A to C, 0 edge, A to D, yes, there is an edge, it's a unidirectional, right? So A to D is also 1. Similarly, B to A, 0, because here A to B is not equal to B to A, because there is a directed graph, directed edge, right? So that direction is towards A to B, not from B to A. 
So B2A is 0. So next B2B, 0. B2C, it's 1. B2D, this is again 0. Similarly, C2A, 0. C2B, again it's a unidirectional and that edge is from B2C, not from C2B. C2C, it's again 0. C2D, 1. D2A, it's a unidirection, so it is 0. D2B, 0. D2C, 0. D2D, again it's 0. So this is a matrix represented for this directed graph. It's an undirected graph and this is a directed graph. Right? So hope you understood this, how to represent a graph using a multidimensional array. Right? Now we will see the another type of representation by using list. This is also similar. We know that every node will be having two fields. One is a data field, another one is a uh, address field. So for example, consider A. Consider A. So A is having two nodes. One is from B on to D. So so we can represent like this. So B again points to D. Right? So A can be having a node's connectivity from B and D. Similarly, coming to the B. B is also having two nodes. So what are the two nodes here? B, A and C. So A connecting to C. So even though there is no connection, B is having two edges, the two edges can be represented in, in this similar way. And C, C is also having two nodes, B and D. So B and D, right? And D is also having, say, let us have this one, okay? Let us have this one. Now D is having three nodes, A, B and C. So I have to write all these things. So A, B, C. So in such a way, we have to represent a graph using a linked list. So this implies A is having a node to B and to D. B is also having an edge from A and to C. C is having an edge for B and D. B is also having an edge for A and B and C. Coming to this. So this is a null, right? This is a null. Right, coming to this one. Coming to this directed graph. So how to represent A? A is having two nodes, B and D. B, D. And coming to the node B, B is having only one edge towards the C. C. C is having only edge for D. And the D, D is having only one edge from D to B. So this is how we have to represent a graph, I mean, using list, linked list. So, in some references you can find, for A there is having B and D, and here B, some having A and C, nodes A and C, and C is having some nodes B and D, and D is having nodes A comma B comma C. And similarly for this also, you can observe A is having a link between B and D, and B is having a link to C, C is having a link to D, and D is having a link to D. So you can find it two ways. So in different ways we can represent uh, the graph using list. So this is how we can represent any graph using multidimensional arrays by using the adjacency matrix and as well as the list concept. Right? So I hope you understood this session. So if you are having any doubts regarding this representation, 
so feel free to post your doubts in the comment section so that i will definitely try to clarify all your doubts and if you are really understood my sessions like my sessions share my sessions with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much